Mac Voices is supported by Addo, the power behind the storage, providing network and storage connectivity for Mac users for more than 30 years. Visit Addo.com to learn more. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at AltConf and WWDC in San Jose. This is Christophs of QMinder. He's going to tell us about an application they're using for helping people maintain their place in line, which in today's world seems to be more and more important. Christophs, it's great to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, really good. So, so tell me about QMinder. So QMinder is a solution which consists of many like applications. Uh, so we help to uh, cust or customers, businesses, to manage waiting lines. So usually it has been here in US that you stand in these uh, r stupid robes, or you have this uh, peep, uh, like number, which uh, our customers have said that they don't want numbers because it's for cattle. So we all have names, right? We want to be greeted by names. It's more personal, personal touch. So uh, once you go to location, you type in your uh, name in the iPad, or greeter takes your name as well. So it's up to the customer to decide. And then the TV is showing like who is waiting. When someone is being called, it really nice, uh, nicely shows notification, makes a sound, so everything is in, uh, informed. And you don't, you don't need to stand in these ropes or uh, like exact location. You can walk around, for instance, a retail space. If you want to buy a new phone, like we have a customer sprint, you, you arrive to the Sprint location, you want to buy a phone, you just sign up, you can walk around and you already uh, experience like what phone you want, maybe you want uh, this case or, or so, all that, you don't need to stand there, it's much more pleasant. And also, we all have names, we don't have, we are not numbers, right? right. So then, is there, a, is there a sound that when my name comes up to be served, that it, or does it speak my name, or how does that work? Uh, there is sound on TV, and also we have you know, SMS notification, so, for instance, when you sign up, some customers are opt-in for SMS. So, uh, you can actually chat with the uh, place where, where you visited. Or uh, this place, they, have, uh, they send you some information. Maybe you need to fill a form before. So, that speeds up your service as well. So, there are many, like these moving parts we uh, give to our customers. And they can decide what features they want to use for uh, our system. But the main thing uh, is the, in the back end, like in the dashboard, where we provide real-time uh, analytics, statistics for our customers, for staff planning, uh, what's the, their busiest times, and so on. And our competitors, for instance, they offer only uh, statistics after one day. So we give them uh, real-time notifications. So for instance, manager, we have application for managers. If they are like driving around and they have multiple locations to manage, they receive a notification to their phone, hey, like something bad is happening, their wait times have spiked up, so they need to react, and they can react right away when they, it's needed, not like a uh, day after. So if, forgive me, right now the, the privacy thing is so important. So if I opt in for the SMS, I've given you my phone number. What assurances do I have that you're not going to do something that you shouldn't with that phone number? Uh, that, that is actually, we, we warn our clients, so our clients opt in for that feature, so they need to uh, inform their visitors. So we uh, just give the solution to do it, so we don't, uh, and we don't expose this data to the third party, uh, anyone. So it's their, uh, our client data is their, uh, their data. They can delete it, they can do whatever they want. So they need to inform their visitors uh, about these issues. So if they are asking uh, SMS, so I know it's sensitive. So you need to ask, hey, can I ask your SMS? Okay, fine. Then they only uh, put in the system, uh, not, nothing else. Okay, so, so it becomes up to the, to the store that's using the system yes. or the, the office or whatever as to how they're going to handle that. You just, you just get it for the purposes of the notifications. Yes, that's correct. So we, we just give solution so they can choose. Okay, we can use that. Maybe they have uh, visitors who don't want to do uh, like give their information, which is fine as well. Mm -hmm. So nowadays, like we uh, think about like privacy. But if you get uh, the service faster, or you can pre-fill these forms or whatever, or maybe you are outside, uh, you need to put more money for the parking. You can chat via SMS to the service provider, so that's actually a cool feature. So uh, need to tell these benefits to the visitors as well. So if you add this SMS, uh, your phone number, then you will get more features yourself. 
I, I like that. I like the idea that you you're develop you're developing the system for your use. You're handing it over and say, okay, you guys do with it what you need to do. But it sounds like you're encouraging people to be responsible with it, and that that's. I mean, I keep my phone's ringing and buzzing in my pocket all afternoon, and none of the calls are really for me. So. Yeah, yeah, privacy is a big factor. And also, we care inside the company about personal touch, so that's why we are using only people names. We're not using uh, numbers. And uh, it's a true fact that we all remember our names, because if you have this number ticket, you know, sometimes you lose it or you put somewhere, you, you forget about it, so we all have names. And uh, as our client, they have stated that they don't want to n uh, number their customers because they are not cattle. They are people. We all have names. Yeah. Now, you, obviously, you're using an Apple TV, you said. Um, it, are, are you developing strictly for iOS, or do you develop, develop for Android as well, so that it doesn't matter who comes in the store? Uh, right now, it's only iOS platforms, like uh, Apple platforms. It's iPad and Apple TV. Uh, because the thing is that in the US, it's quite common. You know where to get uh, iPad and where to get Apple TV. Android, the thing is that uh, it's hard to develop because uh, usually you buy maybe cheaper or stuff like that. And for us, it's much better, much easier to provide the best software we can because we have the same device in our office, same device you have as a business. So that's why we are developing only for uh, these platforms. And it's a fact because it's so easy to get and everyone knows what is iPad. So what? how do you price your service? Is it just if I decide I'm going to do it for my office or my store, I just one time buy, I buy it one time? Or is it a subscription thing? Or how does that work? It's subscription. So the simple plan is two forty-nine dollars per month per one location. So if you have 10 locations, then you need to uh, multiply by 10. But if you take for one year annually, then one month is on us. But there is uh, also a pro plan, and pro plan uh, has SMS functionality included, so you don't need to uh, add extra money for, for uh, SMSs. And uh, we provide uh, custom colors. So for instance, if you are a bank, then you want to show TV and iPad and everything cust customer facing in your colors. So that's a pro plan. And also in pro plan, it's much better s s uh, customer support and we help to set up uh, everything like to get uh, to speed. If, and uh, sometimes there are some questions later on. We all see variations on these kind of things and I would never have thought about someone using it as, as an iOS based solution with an Apple TV as, the, as the, uh, the basis for the display. So that's very cool. Yeah, actually, when we started with Apple TV, uh, we made the switch from, from other uh, providers. And uh, we're really lucky. In the beginning, maybe there were some rough edges. You know, the platform is more for consumers. But uh, it's really good because we just tell Apple TV, they know where to get it. It's only one device, basically, and that's it. And uh, I'm going to talk tomorrow with Apple as well in the labs about this specific use case because they kind of market the TV more for consumers as the home device for uh, consuming content, but uh, not so much as business needs. But there are business apps like Overuse, uh, like uh, us showing the waiting line and other uh, purposes can be for Apple TV because it's such a great platform. If we develop for iOS, we can develop for uh, Apple TV as well. So I think it's great. Uh, the website where folks go to learn more about your service and maybe sign up. So the website is just qminder.com. So if you search qminder, you will definitely uh, uh, find it. So we have everything there, how to get started. You can actually get, uh, sign up for free free trial. So two, two weeks is uh, on us. You can get all functionality, even SMS functionality within this free trial. So you can test everything. You can set it up. You can see if, the, if it works for you, good and talk to us we can extend the trial and we can uh, uh, we want to talk with our customers because we care about customer service so we take customer service ourselves really serious, seriously very interesting thank you so much for the time thanks for stopping by yeah thank you thank you yeah. folks we'll have more from altconf and wwdc in san jose thanks for watching visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with chuck on social media Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices 
or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.